this is Jesse. Jesse's a great game puppy. And the important thing about puppies to know, especially large breed, or what we call giant breed puppies, is they grow tremendously fast. And where that growth can harm them is in the joints. And you'll see Jesse's joints are very big. Those joints are under tremendous stress to grow, to keep up with this frame that's going to double and triple in size. A young giant breed puppy or a giant breed puppy can be born at a pound or two and can reach 150 pounds in the large, large, large breed cases. So you can imagine over a year's time what stresses the joints have to keep up with. That puts these joints under stress to form correctly. And when you have hinge joints or ball joints, the joints have to fit. Jesse says, I don't care really what you're talking about, I'm going. The joints have to fit well together. So, the most important thing that I found out lately about growing giant breed puppies is to keep them on the thin side. You want a body square condition of three or four out of nine. You don't want a lot of body fat on the ribs. You don't want a lot of body fat on the tails and the tail area. So you want to be able to almost see the ribs and feel them easily. You don't want a lot of fat here and you want a lot of fat underneath. You want the, the abdomen to tuck in from the ribs and to tuck in from underneath. So that's what we look for when we um, look want a body score condition of three out of nine. Now if Jesse, if Jesse can look at the chart, we'll see that a three out of nine, this would be one, would be a very thin dog, almost emaciated, and nine would be a sausage dog, a very heavy dog. So three or four out of five, or three or four out of nine is where you want the puppies to be and so you want to be able to almost see the ribs you want to have it tucked up you want to have the 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 abdomen tucked up into the flank area and you can get that chart um, from the Purina just put body condition system and a body condition score is what the charts talking about so what should you feed a puppy well you should always feed in most puppies can eat any life stages uh, dog food, all life stages dog food, because um, especially if they're a mixed breed, they're not growing very fast. But these these giant breeds should probably eat a large breed puppy food that has a, a balanced calcium phosphorus. The calcium's <clears throat> about one percent, it's up to one point two percent, and the calories are lower because the calories lower calories mean they're not going to grow as fast and it, less stress on the bones. One of the myths, old myths used to be that protein has to be restricted in these large breed puppies. That's why people fed, instead of the puppy food, they fed adult food and they thought, oh, that's good enough. But what we found is, and the research shows lightly, is that the, cal the diet has to be lower in calcium and lower in calories. So, and the dogs have to be kept on the, kept on the thin side. And if you want to go online, their dog food um, <coughs> um, dog food advisor has a calcium calculator, and they rate different puppy foods. So that's always a good site to go to. Also, so you always consider feeding your giant breed puppy a giant a large breed puppy food, so you can make sure their joints form correctly. Because if they get arthritis in the wrist or the elbow or the hips, that's a lifetime. Of pain that they don't need if the, if the weight is kept down and the calcium levels are kept down. Is that good, Jesse? Do you have anything else to add? Huh? I don't think she does. Don't grow too fast and stay skinny. So you look in the, uh, you can go online, Dog Food Advisor. They rate large breed puppy foods and also have all the specifications that you need um, you want a, the calcium phosphorus ratio to be right and you want the percentage of, of calcium to be right and you want the calories to be low 
So when you're looking for a, a large breed puppy food, uh, it usually has all those pretty close. But if you want to learn more specifications about it, go to Dog Food Advisor and check out their latest blog. And then if you ever have a chance, you want to find out about uh, curing your dog that has allergies, go to Dog Dish Diet. And if you want to even home cook for your dog, I have a few home cooking recipes there. Also, I have a um, over-the-counter home remedies that you can download for free and have around in case your dog gets stung by a bee or or has hives on it or is painful from limping or you can even ear, use a soap and ear wash for a temporary um, to make a dog temporarily feel better when they have ear infections. Have a great day.